oh hey, didn't see you there. I'm just out here camping with my dogs and my woman, and since you're out here already, you might as well join me. So let's go. So we've been driving for almost eight hours and we had stuff to do this morning and we didn't get out of the house as early as we wanted to. So we're arriving at dark once again. Now the sun just said last year we were showing up in complete darkness. This time we're showing up when the sun's setting. So we're just going to go out and pick out the first uh, available campsite while we still got some twilight. Then we're going to get up super early tomorrow and have a nice long day of uh, paddling, portage, and, and fishing. We've got a pretty epic meal planned for tonight, so that's why I don't want to take super long to get to our campsite. We want to we wanted to have a nice, nice meal. We're doing four nights this year for our fall Boundary Waters camping trip. We got Ruger on his first Boundary Waters camping trip. He is uh, doing his usual thing where he's licking Monty's mouth, cleaning the back of his teeth. Yeah, Ruger, he has stinky breath. All right, notice how you can barely see me. We are getting a late start. It's dark. It's not super dark, you can kind of see still. Hey puppies, you guys ready to go, Ruger, Monty? All right, we're just, we got a short little paddle, maybe 20 minutes, so uh, it'll be dark by the time we get there, but we need to get moving because we'd like to get to our campsite soon here. So, let's get moving. Once again, me and Funk are keeping our tradition of annual night paddling from the starting of our trip. Oh, shit. We're gonna probably be up a little bit later tonight because we're arriving so late and we have this big meal planned that will require a big fire. And uh, we're gonna get up super early tomorrow, well before the sun. We want to be on the water before the sunrise for sure. Because we got six porridges and a lot of paddling to do tomorrow. And I would like to get to this little lake to catch some brook trout, stock brook trout. I don't know if you can see me very well. Maybe this helps. You should be able to see with the sky. Funk and Ruger are back there paddling away. Ruger hasn't been camping, well, canoe wilderness camping since the last trip I got the video of. Um, we took him on like a Grand Island camping where they, you, you rent a little cabin. He's been out of the woods a lot, but other than that, let's get this party started. Ruger's just like, what the heck are we doing right now? <laughs> what? He's sitting. No, he's standing. Sit down, Ruger. Sit down. Hey, Ruger. So did you uh, get sick of the boat and you just jumped out early? He just... <sighs> he just jumped out. He was sick of being in the boat in the dark and just jumped out. We got close to the ledge and just went right underwater. He didn't even, he was just like, no! <laughs> That's what he gets. Oh, he's wet in the cold, right off, right off the bat. All right, we are at our campsite, and there's a present little, pleasant little surprise for us. There is the mother load of firewood here. Check this out, it's just a pile of firewood. So we don't have to do much scavenging for firewood to cook dinner. These little monsters over here, Ruger's just soaked. Went full-blown swimming. Ruger, didn't you? You went full-blown swimming, didn't you, pal? That looks better. I got a nice stick. So 
Uh, Funk's gonna work on setting up the tent. I'm gonna get a fire started and we're gonna start preparing dinner. We brought out potatoes. We're gonna dice them up with some fresh white onion, Brussels sprouts, and ribeye steaks. It's gonna be a three course meal, delicious, fresh produce. We knew we weren't gonna have to do much porging in the starting, so we we're gonna feast tonight and it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Nice little sticks, but should do the trick. I just keep feeding it that stuff. Just using all the little sticks I got broken up here. Getting the fire going quick so we can get coals. Oh, I almost smothered her. Don't do that. Why don't you do that? It is so dry. All this wood is so dry. Not a single. Oh. Still, these pieces are a little bit big. I almost smothered her out. I've been known to do that a, a time or two. She's going good now. All right, let's get her ripping, get preparing dinner. Okay, so one thing we learned last year when Monty was eight months old, when we took him on our boundary waters camping, is insulation from the ground is the most important thing for keeping your dog warm. So last year we were creating a comfort zone with three sleeping pads, and it turns out it kept them a lot warmer. So this year we just went ahead and we're gonna do it every night. Cause Ruger is five months old. And he's going to get a little bit colder than Monty did last year. He doesn't got much fur. He's a little skinny guy, and he doesn't got a lot of fur. But we did bring our two wider sleeping pads, and as you can see, our tent is creating lift. <laughs> you can see under the tent. <laughs> oh, God. So it's going gonna, it's gonna <laughs> to... It might stretch out our tent a little bit. But I think once it's weighed down, it'll be okay, but it might stretch out a hair. Yeah, we should have brought two smaller ones and one big one. Oh well. So Monty and Ruger are on opposite ends of the eating spectrum. Go ahead guys, eat your food. Monty's the, I guess I could eat a little bit. And Ruger's the, I'm going to inhale this all in two seconds. Monty didn't even eat since breakfast, and look, he's just leaving it. He didn't even eat breakfast. He didn't eat. Monty, come here. Come here. Eat your food, Monty. Come on. Good boy. Go ahead, eat that food. That's a good boy. There you go. He just has to be coarse. That's a good boy. He'll take 10, 15 minutes to eat that. Ruger is just about done. And then he's going to creep on Monty for his food. Yeah. You need to learn to eat slower. There's nothing we can do. We've, we've tried. Let's dice up some It's okay. It's gonna taste delicious. Alright. As you can see we got a big pile of Oh yeah. Get that garlic in there. Get in, get out all of you. We are going to feast, need I say. We got our potatoes, I got a little bit of oil in there. Got the garlic cut up and potatoes. We are gonna add some salt and pepper to this and put the lid on and get this steaming. All right, Funk, what's on the menu tonight? Well, while we're in this corner, we got some nice peppery, salted garlic Brussels sprouts. Mm. Diced to perfection. Oh. 
what's this here? Pot, we have potatoes and onions, also with garlic diced to perfection. Mm, and what's over this? Juicy, delicious ribeyes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mm. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh, delicious. Oh, yeah. these cook for a minute and then we'll get the ribeye slapped on there. Get back, hey. You stay away from my steaks, boy. Yeah, you watch. Look at him. He's just creeping. Steaks. Oh, yeah. Look at those. Just got on there. Look. Got the Brussels. Getting close to done. Mm-hmm. And we've got our peppers and onions. A little extra oil in there. Oh, that's hot. Potatoes and oh yeah, what I say? Peppers, and onions. peppers, and onions, and then potatoes. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so fun to clean. I'm so excited for that part. Oh my god, it's hot. It's getting close to done. Just gotta let the steaks cook up. This can almost sit now. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Alright. Looks like we are done cooking. Oh, yeah. Ooh, gotta be careful there. Okay. Let's set this over here. rest for a minute and we got our Brussels and we got our potatoes and onions oh yeah and it looks like everything is just cooked perfect these are a little bit soft these are a little bit firm but we're gonna let the grease it'll soak up into the wood and then we can just burn the logs so there's no mess but we're gonna be feasting at any second you guys want some of this? You too? <laughs> oh no! I dropped a potato. Mm. Mm. No shame here. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, this is a little bit rare. I don't mind. That's just that top portion. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like me a rare steak. Mmm. I know I look like a monster. But it's so good. Mm-hmm. It's time to destroy. That top part was a little rare just on the outside, but you can see that whole big centerpiece is cooked perfectly. We're doing a little pile of chunks and steak fat for the dogs. So these little begging monsters can get a treat. You want a treat? Monty. Monty's like... Don't forget about me, Dad. Don't forget about me, please. You guys will get some. You know we always spoil you. All right, who's ready for their treat? You guys ready for your treats? All right, sit. Stay there. All right, let's just make you enjoy this, Monty. We'll start with you since you're the eldest. Go over here. Sit. All right, uh, twirl, twirl, good boy, sit, sit pretty, oh, look at that, oh, he's holding it so long, that's a good boy, oh, yeah, just pull on that, hey, gentle, gentle, that's a good boy, ow, 
Gentle, Monty, gentle. You're acting like a wild animal. Hey, Ruger, no. Leave it. You're going to get your own. Ruger's, <laughs> Ruger's just like, all right, good boy, Monty. Now let's get Ruger. We can't, we can't favor one over the other too much. All right, all right, my Ruger. <laughs> Sit. Twirl, twirl, Ruger, come here. Ruger, twirl, twirl. Good boy. Sit. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Ruger, sit. Sit pretty. <laughs> Ruger, sit. You look cross. -eyed. Sit pretty. Come on. Do it. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Monty knows. Sit. Sit pretty. Come on. All right. I give up. All right. You, you did good enough. Sit. Gentle. Good boy. Oh, you're way gentler than Monty is. That's a good boy. Look at that pure enjoyment. And look at that pure jealousy. Alright, you guys. I'll feed you some more. I'll dirty up my fingers. Good boys. Spoiled little turd nuggets. It's a lot of ya. Mmm. That was so good. That was perfect. We ate every scrap between us and the dogs. That was so delicious. That was probably one of the best outdoor camping meals I've ever had. Pretty good. But uh, we're going to be just cleaning up, picking up camp, and getting in the tent here. Alrighty, we are in the tent and getting ready for bed. It's pretty, pretty warm this evening. What does this thing say? 66.6. .6. It's probably about 50, 55 degrees in here. It's got to take time, but... Ruger doesn't want to be in his sleeping bag. He crawled out of it. Monty's knows the drill. He's just passing out immediately. So, we had a delicious meal and we are ready for bed. So, we're going to get up early about, uh, I want to say 5.30. 5.30 is how we're getting up? Yeah. Yeah, they were going to have a 5.30. Super early for the sunrises there and then we're gonna get moving we got some ground to cover tomorrow we want to do some evening fishing so catch you in the morning yay morning time Burger, how'd you sleep <laughs> you crazy thing you're a wild child, Ruger. Ruger, you're a wild child. Ruger! Just leave him alone. Oh my god. Poor Monty. God, Ruger! Hey! Leave Monty alone, you monster. This is Monty and Ruger's morning routine of... Chase me! Chase me! We are off. I am still wearing my headlamp. It's okay. Next portage is pretty close by. Or the first portage, I should say. Ooh, we haven't done any portages. Monty, can you sit down, please? Can you sit down? Can you sit down? Can you sit down? Thank you. Thank you, mister. So, we're off to an early start. The sun has risen. And now, let the day begin. First portage of the day is done. We've got five more today. Oh boy, I guess there's one with a pretty steep incline, so. A lot of fun getting to that one. It's like a half mile uphill, I guess. Oh boy. But it's looking pretty cool.
Oh, this this area is gonna be so cool looking. It is chilly. Yeah. It gets pretty dang warm. So for this trip, we we're doing four nights. It's really all the time we could find to uh, do a fall trip this year. It's been pretty busy. It's pretty exciting though. Uh, we've got the, the weather outcast looks great for this trip. I mean, it's always subject to change, but it looks like there's going to be no rain. Slightly, slightly, a little bit warmer um, temperatures. Definitely warmer than last year. Last year they were, you know, 40s, 50s. They're going to be high 50s, low 60s. It looks like a good amount of sunshine, no rain low winds and we're rarely going to be paddling into the wind maybe like one day because we've got a lot of paddle on this trip so that's great that's really nice and for so for Ruger's first little boundary waters trip and him being a five month old puppy it's just nicer that he doesn't have to deal with the 40 degree temperatures but we did prepare for it you know, if it's 40 during the day and it gets below, you know, 20 at night, we've got stuff for him. We've got a sleeping bag, we've got a, a thermal jacket for him, and then a extra sweater. Same thing for Monty. Monty's got his sleeping bag even though he doesn't really need it. We've got insulation from the ground. We brought the crazy creeks, put those in the boat so they're insulated from the water. I got a little vest for Monty, so they're, they're, uh, they're good to go. Even if it gets really cold, we'll just wrap them up. Just looks epic out here with the mist rolling off the water. Is a high up there bluff. It's got to be three, four hundred feet, maybe more. It's large and in charge. Stay there, you be a good boy. Take a stand on my canoe. The water might go. It looks like we're just gonna have to push through these reeds. Might just stay there. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to push through these reeds. That's always fun. Yep. I think we just gotta go for it. And then it comes out somewhere out there. It's just swampy reeds. So. Looks like it might. Let me sit back down. Oh yeah, it does go to the left, so we do need to go that way. Okay, well, let's just go for it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's a big open lake looking thing. No direction. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying because actually this is a newer GoPro so maybe you can. But on the last one, anything touching my boat was making all sorts of noise and you couldn't hear a damn word. There we go. It's less thick now. couple of shotgun shells. Oh yeah, this is the way to go. Nice. I 
That was easier than I thought. Are you an adventure puppy now? Are you officially an adventure puppy? It's your Monty, you too. Ruger, come here. You two dogs. You're so you got muddy little feet. Adventuring all day. Got a little bit of moving water. It's exciting. I just hope I don't slam into a big rock in this moving water. That's not what I'd like to do. Oh! Poop. Poop, poop. That's great for my Kevlar canoe. Just gotta be careful. A little slower. Avoid it. Oh, not really. Ah! Water level's not too high right now. Another son of a bee sting. Ah. Don't come right here. Sorry. I apologize. I apologize, pup. I didn't mean to get us so close to those dang reeds. You know what I'm saying, guy? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. It seems we are on South Fowl Lake. Yes, we're in North Fowl Lake. They seem pretty connected. Like the same lake. So we've got a bit of a paddle to do and then some portage in again. Oh, there's lots of ducks here. I can see why they call it South Fall Lake. I'm just going to break through some reeds here. Bum, 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 bum. Blue skies, a few clouds, light breeze, perfect. It's looking beautiful out. You can say shit all you want. Shit. There's a big lake here. Shit. I traded Funk. I'm using her little midget paddle. So she can go a little faster across this lake. It's a bigger one. I don't mind it. I actually do. I don't like this little thing, but if she likes the other paddle better, I'll let her use it. I'll let her use my paddle. Sometimes I can be a gentleman. Occasionally. Any, I'm a firm believer that any dog can swim, be a canoe dog. This takes time, patience, practice. It's definitely easier if they're starting as a puppy, but you can make any dog do it. Any decently behaved dog. You just gotta put in your time. Keep bringing them in the boat. Keep trying. Let them learn a lesson. If they're trying to jump out, let them jump out. Let them realize that that's not a good idea. It's bad. <laughs> like Ruger learned that as the first, right when we got to the campsite, jumps out of the boat <laughs> into like two feet of water. And he just goes, it's like, oh God. <laughs> he learned. Now he's sitting in the boat. Here he's sitting in the boat now. Swan. I don't think we're really going to have to battle the wind this whole trip. Maybe the next lake. A little bit. Just a little bit. But it looks like. It's all going to be southwest winds. Right now we're heading west. We're heading 
west northwest. So if we stick on the southwestern shore, we shouldn't really have to battle wind at all the whole trip, and then it'll be at our backs. Once we get to the mountain lake, I believe, or I don't know what lake, but we turn around and come back, and we'll be cruising then. But I have not dropped my line in the water or taken a cast yet. Kind of wait to get a little further ahead. I might try the next lake. It's Moose Lake. We gotta take Moose Portage to get there. Maybe I'll try fishing for something there. Troll a line as we go. Who knows what I'll feel like doing. Oh, Monty. Groany Monty. Groany, groan, groan. Those are some cool bluffs back that way. very mountainous area, kind of super bluffy, rock bluffy, big steep cliffs, very pretty, very pretty, fall is, fall is my favorite time of year, absolute favorite. We just upset a whole bunch of geese. Oh yeah. It's got the moose lake taking a lunch break. Mm. up very like I might have to set my line here we got a head of cabbage once again so I got buffalo style tuna cabbage and sharp cheddar cheese and this is delicious little lunch I have a granola bar And then, uh, we'll keep moving. Drink some water. It's a pretty one. And look at that. The winds aren't even that bad. That's the way we're headed, so winds are nothing. A little lunch break for the dogs, too. Oh, yeah. It's time for the sunshine. She's a beaut. Alright. Set my line. Alright. She's set. I got my line way out there. I think I got my line a little too far out there. As you can see, there's barely any line left on my spool. I would come in a little bit. Guys, it's 
so I'd really like to, I mean, we're making decent time, I'd really like to get, there's a little lake that I know has stocked brookies in it, they're not huge, but stocked brookies, there's a good chance of catching them, it's got a little porridge down to it, and that's where I'm trying to kind of rush to, so I get sufficient time to catch a mess of them. So we can have a little kind of fish fry. I one of our meals is planned to make fish tacos. So for that we need to catch some fish in a decent amount. And then we'll have uh, cabbage slaw, lemon juice, and then we will maybe cook up the other two potatoes we brought. So as I'm hoping to have for dinner tonight. I would love it. But we just gotta catch some fish. And those brookies are my target. Now if I catch some bass or pike on the way, I'll use that too. I ain't afraid of that. Lakers are out of season, so I can't eat those. So it's brookies, bass, pike, walleye. Maybe I'll catch some walleye. I'm not sure which lakes have them, but any of those, we get a few of them. Hope we catch a good amount. I'd like to eat some fish today. Eat those four poor dogs. Just so, we're just so mean to them. Making them be out here in the wild where it's just nature and they can play with all the sticks they want and they get fed treats and ribeyes and fish. Just get to be outdoors all day. It's, just, it's cruel really. It's really cruel. I can't think of a worse punishment. You can think of a worse punishment either. Why don't you? You're just being tortured. You look like you're being tortured. I'm just kidding. He loves it out here. I believe I have the first fish of the trip on. Listen, it's fighting really weird. Right when I slowed down there for a second too. Yeah. Let's. I don't know. Oh there. It feels like a little fish. If it is a fish. Come on bass. Come on pike. Come on walleye. Come on monster random brook, brook trout. Oh it's a bass. Look at that. Hells yeah. Jump clean right out of that water. I got my trusty net with a hole in it. She's a pretty small bass. It's pretty small. Mmm. Should I throw him back? Yeah, he's tiny. I mean, I'm going for dinner, but like, that's a small bass. I don't know. Oh, the small ones are bad. Eh, we're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. He's he's a little too small for my liking. So wish he was a little bit bigger. I would have kept him. So that's good to know. There's bass in here. All right. Let's catch some more. Let's catch some more. Let's take a couple of casts off this rocky drop off here. Like, I wouldn't mind eating those, you know, like taste wise and meat wise. It's just not a lot of meat. Like, taste wise, those little things would be delicious. But you'd have to eat, like, I have to kill like 10 of them. And I don't really feel like doing that. I don't want to kill that many fish. I'm not saying they wouldn't be tasty, though have a mess of those, that wouldn't be bad at all. Funk and Ruger just out there in the middle paddling, soaking in the scenery. It's really pretty today in this lake, in just this time of year.
chances are seeing moose are. This is a pretty like cliffy bluffy area, so I'm gonna assume they're not it's gonna be super down to hang out. In that sort of area. I'm sure they come through here, but I feel like they like the swampy stuff more. Snags are the worst when you got your line all the way out. Oh, oh. And speak of the devil, that's what a snag looks like. <sighs> now I gotta go all the way back there. Get my lure. This is definitely a fish. It was right, uh, right after that drop off. That drop off was right there. I just set my line again, and I thought I saw a strike. I was like, oh, maybe I hit rock. I was like, no way, I'm not even close. And seconds later, boom, this one hit hard. Whatever this is, is a little aggressive. Whatever it is, it's a little heftier than the last one. Where are you, buddy? What are you? It is. Ooh, it is. It's a bass. It's not much heftier than the last one. A little bit, though. I think that one's going to make her onto the stringer. You know, it's not huge, but it's not tiny like the last one. And we are after a fish dinner. So this guy here is going to go on the stringer. Hopefully we catch some more too. And this will just add to the fish dinner we have tonight. We've got another one. This feels like a, it is another bass. About the same size or bigger. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, good eating size. It's about perfect. Hey, settle down. Oh yeah. Another one for the stringer. Another fish towards there. That's a better, lot better size. So he's going on the stringer. We're going to eat him up tonight too. If I keep catching these bass like this, I'm not sure exactly how many I'll keep, but I'll definitely keep, keep a couple more. Because I want to have a nice fish Friday night. I think I'm allowed six or five, five or six, but I'm not going to keep more than five anyways. But, uh, you know, we're going to eat a healthy portion of fish tonight. I got one more on. This one's teeny. Oh, he got off. Nice. I got another one on. Shoot, let's just camp here. And they're just one after the other. We're having ourselves a fish fry tonight. Oh no. Oh, it's gone. Damn it. That was a good size one, too. Poop sacks. Man, my pole, tip my pole is like right where the sun is, so every time I check it, I'm like blinding myself. Ah. I'm just gonna wait. I can't look at it anymore. It's too much. I'm seeing a big glow wherever I look. I can't help it. Ah, I can't help it. So we've got the one portage, this is almost half mile, and then a teeny little pond, small portage teeny little pond, quarter mile portage, and then we're on the lake we're staying. So, we don't have too much further to go. It's about 1.30. So, 
we can get up here to this portage in the next half hour. We'll be looking decent. I might still get to go do some night fishing. But I've only got these two bass I'm definitely going to go. I'd like a few more than that. We'll make do with it and we'll eat these. But it'd be sure nice to be able to feast on some fish. One of my favorite things about Paul camping is bringing out perishable foods. I mean, we brought out some cheese, cabbage, onion, garlic, the steaks, uh, potatoes. What else we bring out? Lemons. Yeah, we always bring out lemons no matter what. And I just got a snag. Great. Joy. I just got to turn around. Um, anyways, one of the things I love about it is that you can bring that stuff out and you know we're only staying four nights so my bag my food the food bag is just as heavy as it was when i did the nine night nine nighter the other day because i got two dogs worth of dog food which is about eight bags and then we got our food and then we got all this fresh produce so it weighs about the same we had a little bit extra the first night but we didn't have to portage it and i don't mind portaging the weight you know, because we're eating it up as fast as we can the first couple nights. And to me, it's worth it, having all that delicious food. I mean, if I'm going, like, crazy far and have to do all sorts of work and stuff, I'm probably not going to pack as much of that stuff, but I think it's worth it. And I love it. And I'm going to continue to do it. And those steaks, those steaks were still pretty frozen last night we had to put them in warm water that we cooked over the fire to thaw them out a bit so they could have lasted till today but i wanted to have fish today so we ate them up and i didn't feel like portaging the weight headed towards what is it moose mountain moose mountain Come on, T. Did you take a nice nap? Did you take a nice nap? So I only caught the two bass. I let one go. I had two others on. And they got away. The one was definitely a keeper, but he's gone. And there is a monster beaver home right in front of me. And there's no way. I'm not going to take one or two quick casts next to it. Beaver home, beaver home. I'm going to catch a bass near beaver home. Oh. Okay. No luck. Thought I had a bite. Maybe it was just a little... Snag of a rock or something. Okay, done fishing this here lake. End of the portage now. Time to do some portages. Well, that was interesting. We just had a couple of uh, Canadian. Uh, on the Ontario side, park workers uh, help us with, out, with our portage stuff. Told them it was fine, they were like, no, oh, we got a beaver slapping up ahead. But uh, they insisted on helping carry some stuff, so I appreciate that. That's pretty cool, I've never had that happen before. Tried to offer them chocolate and Starburst that we had extra, and they just didn't want it. Two more to go. So yeah, those park worker chicks said, uh, not this portage, the next portage is nasty and muddy. And they dropped a bunch of trees to try to make it better, but they said it was still pretty rough, so we'll see. Said the dogs are going to get muddy, so that's alright. I like when they get muddy. Don't you, Funk? Yeah, it's my favorite. I think it looks great. They're running around just playing in the mud, little piggies. Little piggies in the mud. I 
I'm thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. That's a spot. <clears throat> we need another one of those. It is so. Now my auntie's thirsty. I started a chain reaction. Here on Mountain Lake, we have got about an hour of sunlight. So, what I'm gonna do is get to camp, drop off my bag, go to the portage of this lake with the brook trout, and I'm just gonna take a few casts from shore, see if I can catch any right there. I am not bringing down my boat and having to portage it back. No way. Jose. It's getting a little nippy. Getting a little nippy, 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 nippy. I think I'm gonna have to put my sweatshirt on. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. Of course you are. We've got a fish on. Woo! Feels like a log. So it might be a laker. What do we got? There he goes. Is that a bass? Or is that a trout? Oh, damn. It is a lake trout. Poo. Poo poo poo. yourself Larry and since this guy can't be eaten this ain't no Larry there you go nice lake trout oh go ahead all right all right all right, all right. goodbye all right well, we'll keep trying keep trying for something edible on the way to camp Oh my god, it is so calm. I bet those brook trout are going crazy right now. Uh, 45 minutes till the sun sets. I want to get there so bad. It's going to hard, be hard for me not want to portage down my boat because it is such a nice evening for fishing. For trout especially. You guys muddy, wet, dirty dogs. Oh my god, Ruger. Your undercarriage is so dirty. Muddy, you're a little more. Oh, you're still pretty dirty. Alright, I've got like 20 minutes to go fish for some brook trout. So I'm going to go do it. So I'm either hiking a bluff right now with a trail from our campsite. Or it's a new path to this lake. Well, there's no way I would have done this with my boat. It's just like straight up. Oh, it's not even fun to walk. Or should I say hike? I hope it's up here. It did lead to the lake. Oh, 
there's fish servicing. <laughs> oh, there's servicing out there. Okay, I need to cast. I'm gonna fish. Oh, I gotta catch some fish. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try the trusty old teeny little spinner. Last try is this guy. I can't say I fished it hard, but uh, all I had was teeny little minnows following it. Not a single solid bite. And from what I can see by the fish that are surfacing, is they're all really small. They're all minnows, you can see them right there. I, I probably could have had better luck if I had my boat in here and I was trolling around a surfacer or if you were fly fishing. But it seems like there's a lot of little bitties in here, so I'm gonna head back while there's still a little bit of light. Help Funk set up camp, get some firewood. Two precious damn dogs. Look at that. They're just nestled up together. He's being so cute. Monty's keeping his little brother warm. You two cutie pies. Oh, that's a good boy, Monty. <laughs> Alrighty, we're just getting the fire ripping. I'm making a cup of hot cocoa here. We've got the pan ready. Fish is all filleted and battered up in our homemade batter. Once uh, the fire gets ripping and dies down a little bit, we're going to add some oil to the pan and fry up uh, our fish. And then we got some cabbage diced up. Um, I'm going to put strand. We're going to put strands of that on our tortillas with some lemon juice. And then with the leftover cabbage, I'm going to add more lemon juice, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a slaw. And if we're still hungry after that, uh, we'll make one of our dehydrated spaghettis or something. But we should have a pretty good meal here. Alright, our lemon seems pretty good, so let's land some fish. <laughs> well, it's not even close, and it's not lemon. Okay, our lemon. Huh? Your oil. I know. I'm just calling it lemon on purpose now. Should be getting a little better. It'll get hot, so we're just throwing it on. <laughs> How many tortillas do you think we're going to get? Or, uh, tacos? Well, it'll get there in a second. We didn't get our oil quite hot enough. But you know what? It's still going to taste great. Alright, there we go. I knew she'd come around. Okay, I'm just going to warm up my tortilla a little bit. fish on here. It's going to be a little greasy, but hey, you know what? That's going to add to the flavor. How's yours taste, Funk? Good, minus the fact that I put too much salt on it. Yeah. But, amazing, nonetheless. Now we're just going to go ahead and already mixed up some lemon slaw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, a little extra lemon all up in there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Mm. 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 It's so good. It's so good. Mm. This is why we're here. This is why we're here. Mm. I could eat like 15 of these. Oh man. That was so good. But we're about to have taco round two. And Funk came up with a good idea. Magical, magical cheddar cheese mm. and uh, we're gonna have a little bit more fish this time on our tacos sizzling good it'll get a little crispier oh it's so good ah we don't need Cholula you know what have been good about four more bass <laughs> I could just keep devouring fried bass fried anything fried fish Meat fish taco 2.0. More slaw, more fish, cheese. Epic. Some part of me just can't get over how good this tastes. Okay, I've got their little fishy hors d'oeuvres. Who wants this treat? Which one of you wants this one? Only one of you gets it. How about you guys sit? Sit. Pretty, sit pretty, sit pretty. That was the best sit pretty you've ever done in your whole life. Good boy, Monty. Good boy, Monty. Sit pretty, sit pretty. Oh, he did Good boy, do sit it. Sit pretty. Good boy, sit pretty. He just likes to use his hands. That's the problem. <laughs> Ruger, twirl. You have to give Monty another little piece of that Sit. because, in his mind, you already gave him both one treat. Oh, boys. Careful. <laughs> Careful. Oh, boy. Good boy. Oh, man, that was so delicious. Oh, what a day. It was a longer day. We got up at 5.30. Uh, moved all day. I did some fishing on uh, Moose Lake. Caught those bass. Had lots of bass on, too, and... Let them go. Did uh, six portages today. They weren't crazy, but it took a lot of time. We did a lot of paddling. And uh, yeah, full day of work. We got here right, right before sunset. So we're just gonna be cleaning up, uh, sitting by this fire here, letting it roast down a little bit. And then we will be heading to bed. So we will catch you in the morning. Are you guys well rested? Are you not being energized tonight? Well, good morning. We slept in a little bit. <sighs> Dogs are just getting prepared for the day. Hi, puppies. How you dogs doing? Hi, Ruger. Hi, Ruger. You little cutie pants. Monty, you too. So, we are just making breakfast and getting packed up. A little bit of a late start, but we're cool with it. We have to battle the wind today. We are headed this way. And this is a pretty long open lake. Um, and you can see there's kind of a breeze. It's kind of choppy, so we do have to battle the wind today. Go straight into it for, I don't know, I, I don't know exactly, I'll look at my map again, but it's, it might be around five miles straight into the wind, I'm not sure. Some Something like that. But, we're going to get moving, that's for sure. Okie dokie, we're ready to get mover all cleaned up. I took all my extra firewood, put it under the grate. 
with uh, a big piece of birch bark over it. <coughs> Biggest I could find. Try to keep it dry for the next guy. But, Funkin' Ruger cruise it out. Monty, you ready? You ready, buddy? We're going straight to the wind. And as soon as we get around this point, this is the narrow part, it opens up big and you can see white caps, so it's gonna be breezy. And we've got a ways to go. Let's just do it. You liking that wind, Ruger? You liking that wind funk? No. We haven't even got to the windy part yet. So it looks like it's six miles straight into the wind just to start our day. Which, we've done longer paddles for sure. But on a big open lake into the wind, that's some work. That's some work, we got fully loaded canoes. Both got a dog. Yep, and the fun part's about to begin. It's not so bad when you got the shore, it's kind of like the shore is going like this and the wind's coming this way, but it opens up after this point and it's just gonna be full force. And that's right ahead. Ah, get ready, cause it's coming. <laughs> Here we go. Let the fun part commence. Well, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. ain't gonna carry very far in this wind. catch up to me let her rest for a second and since I got a minute or two before she gets here I'm gonna cast next to this really nice tree because we got a rocky bottom it looks like it's like five feet deep uh oh all right want to go on shore Poor Funk had a contact malfunction, eh? Yeah. Yep. She, uh, her contact double over her eye. That's how I like that Funk turn Oh, she's been paddling to that wind blind. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <gasps> this is when you gotta give these dogs some credit. I mean, we're just blowing into the wind, paddling hard, bigger waves, and they're just sitting in the boat, just like, all right, okay. I don't know what in the heck we're doing, but uh, it's not so bad, I guess. Mom and dad will keep us safe. And you know, they're still younger. Monty's, I don't know what, year and a half, year and six, seven months, somewhere around there. Seven, eight, I don't know, something like that. Ruger's five months. So do, they're doing pretty good for their age. They're gonna be lifetime boat dogs. That's for sure.
making progress. We're getting there. We've got about another mile to a half mile to go. I'm not exactly sure on how far, but we're getting there. Close. We're giving her. Hey, Monty, should we go for to the dog park? Do you want to go for to the dog park? Do you want a treat? Do you want to go for to the dog park? Do you want to go for to the dog park? You're silly. You're so handsome. We're almost there, buddy. I can't not cast. We just took a nice little beef jerky, candy, and nuts break. Yeah, we gotta save the cheese in case we get more fish for fish tacos, because we're totally having round two if we catch more. It's nice to be blowing with the wind for a change. So the next portage we got is two thirds of a mile long with one third of it being an incline that seems to be pretty steep. So that'll be some fun. And then the rest of it is all downhill. Going across the lake here and uh, you know the waves are coming to their sides. Monty decides to stand up, spin around, and sit on this side on the edge. And he almost flipped us. That was uh, very sketchy. He doesn't normally do that. There's only been one other time where he sat on the metal edge there. Dad, you already got wet. Oh. We gotta go. Now I'm going like eight miles an hour. We gotta get out of this wind though. Get to the next lake. We got one more portage. I feel like I got an outboard motor on. We're going so fast. Oh no. I'm cruising.
Hopefully that's the last portage of the day. We're crossing our fingers and hoping that no one's at the one campsite on this lake. It's a nice little lake. It's the wind's just blocked. So it's nothing like the last lake, not even like night and day. And there's walleye and pike and bass in this lake and we have almost an hour and a half till the sun sets. So Funk's way up ahead looking to see quick if it's open. If it's not, we got another portage and a paddle on a potentially windy lake, unfortunately. So, whew, come on baby, be open. This will be the first time we could see the, or get to enjoy the evening time, like the dusk. I believe it's open. Yes! Oh, I'm glad this worked out. I wasn't really expecting anybody to be on this lake, but the last time I did that, my last trip, of course there was someone. I'm gonna do a little evening fishing tonight. Troll for some walleye and some pike and bass. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be so good if I catch any. Oh, we made it. Here's our spot for the evening. Up on this big ledge. It's pretty steep getting up here. But uh, Funk's gonna chill, she's gonna set up camp. I'm gonna go out and try to catch us some fish. I got fish tacos on my mind. Funk's got them on there too. So I'll give her a try. I think there's a decent chance I could catch something, maybe. It's a little windy, but uh, I'm gonna go give it a try. I'm just gonna eat a little snack quick and get out there. I got about 45 minutes left of sunlight. So I gotta get moving if I wanna catch anything. Got something. Missed him in the net. This is a nice bass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, that's a nice smallie. That is a nice smallie. Tacos, here we come, baby. <laughs> Sunset's beautiful. We're not we don't got we don't got a good spot for a sunset here. I guess there's that bluff over there, but that'd be too much work to get to. see this or not but I caught a little walleye. Hey Rogie Toogie. Rogie Toogie Doogie Doogie. Dogs are eating. We are just sitting around right now for a second. Just got everything set up. Got done fishing. Uh, I got the tarp set up because oh my chair. Soft ground. Um, there's no way we can have a fire tonight. It is just way too windy and it's just like on an open hey, rock face. So um we got the tarp set up to block the wind, which is coming off the lakes or way high up here, and we're just going to use our stoves to make the fish fry. We're going to attempt to put that pan right on top of our stove, which it should work, and I hope it works. Um, if it doesn't, we, we can go back to our old little lids, but uh, we're going to try it with the bigger pan, see if it works. And we're going to fry things up that way. Should be pretty good. It's going to be good. We got almost almost as much fish as yesterday. 
right about the same. Probably, probably, probably pretty close to the same. So we're gonna have two nice tacos each. It'll be a good dinner. All right. We are battering our fish here. I like to dip it in water, lay it on, and to conserve our batter, we usually lay out a pile like this onto something, and then uh, sometimes, like, we'll even sprinkle it a little bit at a time. But we have extra batter now, so we're just kind of piling it on here, making sure they get coated good. And then when I'm done doing all the fish fillets, it kind of sogs through a little bit after a little bit of time. So we'll just sprinkle this over these done pieces. And then we'll get to frying. All right, just got the pan with the oil on the stove. Got the fish all battered up. And we're just going to let that heat up. And uh, then we're going to fry some fish. Um, I think it's going to actually work a lot better than over the fire because we're out of the wind and this thing does a pretty good job of making a nice hot flame for this sort of stuff. Just a little alcohol burning stove. It's a Trangia 28. But it's good for fish fry. We've done it before. It looks like the oil is already starting to get nice and hot. So I was a little worried that like, oh, this might be too big of a pan, but I think it's going to work perfect. Okay, let's give her the old spit test. Whoa. Okay, so she's plenty hot. Too hot. Probably too hot. I don't think it's too <laughs> hot, but that was yeah. definitely sketchy. What a dummy. It's going to cook a lot faster than yesterday. It's actually frying today. Okay, so turns out the stove heats way better than the fire. Yeah, so get on that cheese. This is going to be frying up quick here. Try to put a few more pieces in here. I am slawing up my fish taco. No, I'm eating. Oh. Lemon. Extra lemon. Oh, the split in my thumb is burning. Close her up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right here. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. No. Yeah. Mmm. This is so good. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's so windy. Oh. That food is so good. I'm gonna go walk over, see what we would have been dealing with if we had a fire. Yeah, look at this. It's just up on a crazy rock base. The wind's going crazy. There's no way we're going to have a fire right here in this little thing. Boots are just drying out. But yeah, there's no way. I can't see when I put the damn thing in my face. Oh. Feels nice to just sit back for a little bit. Definitely a longer day today. Yesterday was a little longer, but today was still pretty long. Uh, we slept in a little bit. Had a nice long paddle into the wind. Then uh, some crazy gusting. Decent little portages. Caught some fish. Had some more fish tacos. All in all, another good day out in the wild. But uh, we're going to get simmering down here, cleaning up, and we're just going to lay down for a bit in the tent because it's kind of cold and breezy, and we're not having a fire, so we're just going to eat some candy and maybe drink a cup of hot cocoa in the tent, and then we're going to pass out. Tomorrow we've got uh, it's just a paddle day. We're paddling all across, I think it's Pine Lake, all the way to the other end.
and it's supposedly we were with the wind before we left, so I'm hoping it's still that. I hope the winds aren't like this, though, because even with the wind, that's crazy. <laughs> Not as fun, but, yep, heading to bed. Catch you in the morning. Morning. Good morning, fuck. Good morning, Rugi Tugi. So we had one tent malfunction because of all the sleeping pads being squished into the thing. Last night, in the middle of the night, this pole snapped off this chunk of metal and uh yeah so the tent was all loosey-goosey so uh, i brought duct tape so we're just gonna duct tape it at the next spot and we actually have an old tent that i ruined <laughs> the same tent and uh, we have spare poles so it'll be all right but we have to deal with this now but we'll we'll make it it'll be all right but we learned our lesson not to not to bring big sleeping pads. One big sleeping pad, two little ones. Not two big ones, one little one. Come here. Come on, Bobby. Come here. She isn't a dog, it's a stuffed animal with a heartbeat. Let the D begin. So, after this, we got a portage right up ahead, quarter mile, nothing crazy. Doesn't seem like there's much incline, it looks pretty flat from what I can see by the hills up ahead. So it might be a little muddy, but that's okay. And then uh, there's some waterfalls we're gonna check out. And then we got a big old paddle, and we should get to camp the earliest out of any day tonight, and we are gonna relax. Funk, Funk's done a lot of hard work. She doesn't like doing as much work as this all the time. So she wanted a nice relaxing day, and today's that day. We'll get to camp, we'll set up, and we will burn a fire and chill around. That portage was so easy, and it was so nice. It was so nice. All right, so now we're on the search for some waterfalls. The Johnson Falls. I was told by nobody to not miss them. Nobody told me that. But I'm not going to miss them because they're on the map. Whether we got a bushwhack or not, I'm sure there's gonna be a trail. We're just hiking over to Johnson Falls. It's uh, the portage, or it, the trail for this comes right off the portage between Pine Lake and Canoe Lake right at the starting right off pine. That's where I thought it would be. And it's definitely a well-traveled trail, so people go to check this out quite often. These are pretty sweet waterfalls. I don't even know if you can hear me, but definitely worth a small hike off of Pine Lake. These are the upper falls, I believe, and those are the lower. Very pretty.
Well, those were some gorgeous waterfalls. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. We uh, ate some packets of tuna for lunch. We didn't have any more tortillas because we weren't planning on having fish tacos two nights. But, uh, I mean, can you blame us? Come on. But, uh, yeah, now we're starting our long paddle down the lake, Pine Lake. And the wind is just blowing perfectly with us. It's, it's not too crazy, but it's just enough to where I don't have to put in any effort to keep moving at a good pace. Yesterday we battled the wind on Mountain Lake and that took us like two and a half hours to go five, six miles. We were following the shore a lot of the way, but this one, I mean, I'll be surprised if it takes us more than three. But uh, I am gonna be doing fishing. So that, if I get a snag, that'll slow us down. If I catch fish, that'll slow us down. But we should move at a good pace and it should be a nice, enjoyable paddle in the sun. Perfect temperature, I'm not too hot, not too cold. The dogs are both Pass out. Burgers pass out right there. Monty's passed out right there. And they are just ready for us to paddle. So we are going to cruise and enjoy the day. It's a nice, easy day. The winds are picking up. We're moving now. I'm flying. I don't know if I'm going to fish in this. Because if I catch a fish, I'm going to be pulling to my side and rocking. And I don't know if I feel like doing that in this wind on these big lake, in this big lake. can't help myself. I'm gonna catch the biggest pike of my life or something. You know? It's a big lake. Monster lake trout or 35 pound walleye. Who knows? I don't normally catch big monsters, but today could be the day. You never know when that big fish gonna bite. so soon. Oh, this is the bad part about fishing in the wind. It's when you get a snag. I thought this drop off was good. Ah, now I have to fight to save my lure and my line. Alright, I don't think I want to fish anymore if this is what I got to deal with. I should have known better. Damn it. Now I gotta keep the boat straight as I reel this in as fast as I can. So I do not want to be taking waves at my side right now. didn't go far enough. Damn it. Ugh. Paddling backwards. Going for gold. I don't feel like turning around in this wind again. She's a goner. Damn it, I can't. snapper. There it goes. Yep. That'll happen. 
happen. Oh! Oh ho ho ho! <laughs> nice. Alright, I ain't dealing with that again. Screw that. I thought it was done, son. Woo! I was just kidding. I knew I got it out. I knew it. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. <sighs> All right. Duly noted. Not gonna fish in the crazy winds. I'll wait till I get around this, like two thirds of the way down the lake, I can go around this uh, point and it kind of goes to where the, the land will block the wind. And it's a decent drop off, so I'll fish there. But for now, I'll just enjoy the paddle because that's, dealing with snags like that is not fun. Even though I got it. Is that a good boy, Ruth? That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Ruger, are you good boy? Are you good boat dog now? Good boy, Ruger. You a boat dog now? Huh? Yeah, I know it's fun. Sitting in the sun, the wind. That's a good boy. Monty, you want a treat? You're a good boat dog too, huh, buddy? Yeah. You know this one. This is your home. Feel safe here. Huh? We've been paddling for almost an hour. And we are ah, We're three miles in. Looking at the map again, it looks like we have to actually go roughly eight miles down this lake. Especially if we're following the shoreline. We're taking a short little canoe break. Found a nice little cove out of the wind. Mm. Eat a little snack. Stretch our legs for a minute. Since we got extra time, we're making good time. And we're paddling with the wind. Just like to take a little chill with the dogs. Stretch their legs and go to the bathroom if they need to. Right, Monty? Huh? Right, Monty? Right, Rugs? Yeah, Ruger, you go good boy. Ruger, you go boy. Yes, you are. Monty, you go good boy. Yeah. So we'll get pallet. Back to pallet in a minute here. I'm just gonna really hope that I don't get a snag. Well, about two minutes into my trolling, of course I got a snag. I was staying enough away from shore and it says it drops down to 16 feet here. <sighs> and it snapped my line. I don't think it was funny at all. <laughs> you jump like a little girl. Sitting here taking pictures of Ruger and she goes, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, jerk. Oh, you jumped like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> the winds must have really calmed down because we're on the far end of the lake. 
and I would assume that the wind would be the worst down here, but it is nothing. about 5.15 and I'm just going to go do a little fishing now for like a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, I'm not going to keep anything, just a little catch and release fishing. But uh, we'd like to have dinner a little earlier tonight. We've been having some pretty late dinners. We're staying up pretty late. So tonight we're going to try and uh, eat a little bit earlier. So we're going to kind of cook around sunset, rather than well after sunset. So I'm just going to go do a little casting. You must have known I was going to go fish this home. I wonder if there's a fish stupid enough to be over there. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> he scared me! <laughs> he came right behind me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He definitely caught me. I think that's a no on friendship. Maybe they're gonna follow me back to camp and they're gonna drop drop a tree on our tent. Better watch out. I better not go to any beaver homes. I've had a lot of beavers slap their tails at me in my day. Whoops. Fresh onion. Oh. And then Oh yeah, extra garlic today. Did you lose all that? Yep. What? What you don't want this much garlic? Too much? Yeah, you have that much food. You should use like two cloves max. <laughs> not put all that in there. I like garlic. Right, I'm doing at least three. All right, it's good enough for me. I'm just gonna throw these in and roast them whole, and I'm just gonna eat them. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Oops, I'm losing stuff. So the fire is going to be used for warmth, enjoyment, and hot cocoa roast and water. We've got our spaghetti rehydrating almost about good as soon as that's done we are gonna throw on the potatoes onions and garlic 
Ruger is just resting all bundled up like a cutie pie. And Monty is resting by the fire. That's a good boy. Look at that, that glory sizzling. What do you think about the smell of just deliciously caramelized onions and cooked potatoes? Huh? Do you want some of this? Do you want a piece of onion that fell on the ground? Well, he liked it, so. <laughs> you stinker. Here's our feast for this evening. Oh, yeah. Spaghetti, hot cocoa, potatoes, onions, garlic. Oh, it's going to be so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. It's so good. It's hot, but it's so good. All right. No need to show any of this. I'm going to feast like a pig, a wild animal. Ruger's passed out. Ruger's passed out. Oh, he's up a little bit now. Monty's over here just chilling, being a good boy. We are getting cleaned up. I feel so full after that delicious meal. Mm. That was another good one. Just with the spaghetti. Today was a good day. Nice, nice day relaxing. We're just sitting here by the fire, letting her burn down. Had a nice paddle with the wind today. Good sunshine. Calmed right down. Had a relaxing evening. Some good food again. Nice final night of the Boundary Waters trip. So we're just going to let this roast down for a bit. We're actually going to head to bed pretty early tonight. Just going to let this fire burn down pretty good. Roast some more wood and then we'll be heading to bed. Kind of full so I'm not going to drink any more hot cocoa or anything. But Four packs Yeah. Four was enough. <laughs> but we're going to get up relatively early. And we don't got too far to go to the car. So, we'll catch you in the morning. Nice little brisk morning this morning. Oh yeah, you puppy dogs. You chewing on a pine cone. What you doing? What you two doing? What you doing? What you doing? You're so excited to be alive. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Come here. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yep, so we're just packing up camp and we are cruising on out of here. No breakfast, no oatmeal, no coffee this morning. We do not got far to go, so we're just packing and then we're going to be paddling to camp. There's a teeny little portage. It doesn't even really count. It's like 80 feet or something. Might not even be a portage. Might be able to just paddle through. We'll see. But, uh, why? there's a lake there, guys. Why are you drinking out of this puddle, huh? There's, there's, this water is probably a little more fresh, guys. Right here. Right here, Ruger. Right there. Drink this. Drink that. Go ahead. There you go. That's a smart doggy. Anyways, we're going to get to it and get moving. Monty just likes to enjoy his mornings by staring over the lake and soaking things in and just waking up so here's the trip that we did we started right here and paddled to here in the dark and then we portage down here we have doop 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 portage up this way paddled all along here portage this paddled here portage this that's where those forest service workers were that helped us or paddle portage paddle portage all the way over to here and then we stayed here and I went up to this site there's a trail right from this campsite that goes up here and then we battled the wind all the way down here ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. and then we portage here paddle down here portage here paddle down here and then portage and stayed here that's where I caught a couple fish as a nice little lake very pretty and then we got up yesterday portage down here and then we went to right there and we there's a trail 
We checked out these waterfalls, and then we paddled all the way down here to this campsite, and that's where we're at now. And then we're just packing up, and all we gotta do is paddle up to here, skip through this little thing, and then paddle down here to the car. And that's that. That's the trip. It's pretty nice for four days, four nights. Pretty good trip. But we're just packing away still. Just thought I'd go over that quick. All right, Monty, sit down. Well, here's our portrait. This one looks pretty rough. I don't know how I feel about this portage. I'm kind of scared. Well, I guess that wasn't so bad for a portage. It was so bad. <laughs> hi, Punky. Hi, Ruger. <laughs> Definitely out of the boundary waters now. There's cabins. Here, a generator. And I packed my sunglasses into the deepest, darkest places of my bag. I'm not stopping to get them out, so I'm just gonna paddle blindly. Am I going the right way, Funk? <laughs> I don't care. Just tell me if I'm gonna hit the shore. I'm trying to use that generator as. Oh, it's so bright. More on my left? Okay. Well, that was a fun little trip. We're getting closer to the car now. We've got too much further to go. We had perfect weather. We ate good food. We had both our dogs and they weren't cold. Didn't get wet. Well, Ruger got wet on the first night. <laughs> That's all right. But all in all, it was a great trip. A little bit short, but hey, you know, you can't always get tons of time to go out camping. Sometimes you gotta work with what you got. So, we're just gonna keep paddling, get to the car, pack up, and we're gonna head on home. Hope you had a great time watching it, and we'll catch you next time.